Alright, in this video we're going to look at uh, view visibility in Revit and what view visibility does is it, it sort of controls the look um, and the feel of your drawings so you have to understand that in your project browser all your views over here um, are different views and you can you can change how each one of these views presents itself on the page um, without it necessarily affecting a different view so for example we'll work in our 3d view and so to get to view visibility um, you can either go um, visibility graphics up here in the view tab or so we can go view tab visibility graphics or VV which is a shortcut quite an easy one to remember now what you'll see when you open this up um, is a lot of information at the moment and it's probably a bit complicated to all, to take in but I'll explain it as best I can now we've got along the top we have four tabs which are four different categories so your model categories here is everything that's physical and 3D in your project so for example you can see sort of furniture and floors um, uh, this will be lines for three you know 3D lines and uh, ramps railings okay so everything that's a 3d element across this we have annotation categories now these are all um, you know for example door tags and your section lines so these will sort of control how your your 2d plans and elevations and sections look whereas this will um, the model categories will control your um, 3d views basically you also have imported categories, so that's if I imported a um, CAD file to draw over, or if I linked in a um, another Revit file, like a Revit site file, I'd be able to control how that looks from here. And filters you don't need to worry about. So let's turn off. Um, well, we'll turn off our roof. So if you just click on any one of these, and then R for roof, it'll scroll down to R and we can see roofs there and we'll just uncheck that and we'll apply that and you can see that in our model our roof has been hidden now if I ever wanted to check what element I'm, I want to hide so let's say I wanted to hide these trees but I don't know what it is remember if we just hover over and we can see that it's, it's, a, it, it's family is planting or it's type is planting so VV back into visibility P for planting and there's planting there so I'll just turn that off and apply and we'll see that all the plants are gone now um, okay so we've turned off our planting in our roofs and now you see I can start to either you know do some interior um, decorations in here or um, just really get a better feel for my project without a lot of a lot of mess I'm also able to Let's say I wanted to duplicate this view. So duplicate with detailing. So now I have two of the same views. So here, 3D and copy of 3D. And if I wanted to VV, just go back in and turn turn back on the planting and the roof that I turned off. And so they'll appear back in this view, in this copy of 3D. But when I go to 3D, it's still exactly the same as I left it. Also with visibility, you can control the way that things are presented on the page. So let's go to a plan now. So ground floor. And if I wanted to, okay, we'll say, say in this one, let's turn off our section. So in annotation categories, we'll go S down to section. So we'll turn off our sections and E, we'll turn off our elevations as well. and let's turn off our planting P planting let's turn that off okay so now we have a nice little neat just our floor plan here now you can also override elements so VV um, let's override the walls so if we go down to walls you can see um, I have all these options here to override how they're going to look so I can make them half tone if I want or I can make them transparent so let's make them half tone and you see it's giving um, them a bit of a fade 
Um, also, it, um, so you can basically do to them whatever you want. Um, you can change its their cut pattern and fill. So how, what color and what kind of pattern it's going to look like um, in section. And also projections, so um, in elevation or in 3D, um, what they're what they're going to look like. I mean, if we give them a solid fill now and say, sorry, if we give them a, solid fill, black lines, or cut as well. So. Um, we'll give it a solid fill in its cut pattern and you'll see there we go so that just and I can W I can change that to whatever color that I wish um, you know pink or something red there we go so yeah you have this option to sort of really start to edit the way that you're presenting your drawings so that's that's visibility and graphics um, looks pretty complicated but if you take your time, um, you'll start to understand that uh, it's quite an important tool in Revit.